Hello, my name is R.J. Hadley, your next United States Senator from Georgia. And for nearly 11 months now, I have traveled the state talking to you about job creation, small business success, and education. These are three vital areas that we must focus on to move our state forward, move our nation forward. But I had to take a moment to comment on uh, the incumbent, Senator Isaacson's, a shameful vote last week to stop unemployment benefits. This will affect nearly 250,000 Georgians, and it's really unexcusable. Now, he says that he's concerned about the uncontrolled spending. He says that he wants to promote small business uh, to lead us to the economic recovery. I find that interesting. If he was that concerned about the uncontrolled spending, then why did he force this, this uh, first-time homebuyer's tax credit, which, which really turned out to be nothing more than a $40 billion giveaway to his largest campaign donors? It hasn't helped the housing market, as we saw in a report last week, and some are saying it may have even reinflated the housing bubble. If he's in support of small business, then why does he stand ready to block the Small Business Lending Fund Act, which was promoted to help open up the credit lifelines that our small business men and women need to succeed? No, Senator Isaacson is more concerned about pumping millions of dollars into his campaign war chest and leaving us, who I believe he called um, the unwashed, with the worst economic conditions around the time of the November elections. Then he can conveniently point to someone else to blame for the mess that most will say were created on his watch. He doesn't care about the thousands of Georgians who will lose their unemployment benefits each week. He doesn't care that the vote that, that he, the, the no vote uh, that he gave last week will actually affect $370 million in state aid that Georgia was relying on to balance our budget. You know, I told you guys at the beginning of this campaign that this, this race is, is not going to be about uh, the left and the right and liberal and conservative. I'm telling you, this race is a, is, it's a battle between the haves and the have-nots. It, it's a battle to get true representation for the middle class and the working poor over the corporate elites and the political insiders. And it's a battle that, that we must and we will win. But I need your help. On July 20th, you will have a choice on the Democratic ballot in the primary between an establishment candidate that pretty much promises nothing more than pretty much what we've always gotten, or someone who will be a new voice, a new face for you in Washington to put the people first. Find me online at VoteRJ.com and let's have a discussion about how we can move this state forward and move our country forward. I look forward to it. Thank you and have a good evening.